Hi Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs, so whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Scorpio, this is for you and I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general reads, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you in your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week you have the strength card uh, but before we get into that if you haven't seen it please don't forget to check out the Into the Multiverse video between the mid the, uh, the midpoint between magic and madness. It's a really important video um, that's going to help you navigate this entire week because we are at this point in between eclipses so you're going to feel this whole week because uh, we're heading towards that lunar eclipse that's going to be specifically in your sign Scorpio so this video is definitely a must watch for you guys um, especially because this eclipse that's coming is in your sign so you're going to feel that intensity that much more. Uh, with that said <clears throat> Your strength card is really probably speaking to your physical body this week. The strength card very often speaks to the physical sense of us. And the fact that you have this, I think you had this a few weeks ago, um, and it was a very specific message about your body then, but that was about your healing. This I actually think is about your bodily cleansing. So uh, in a lot of ways, this could be about, so when we release stuff on the inside, it makes our physical being or body lighter. Uh, this is one of the reasons that I'm not a doctor or a medical professional, etc. Uh, just putting that in there. But one of the reasons that weight training is so good for you is it forces you and your body to dig into your cells for energy that you don't really usually in your daily activities unless you work in a very sort of manual labor kind of capacity you don't really dig into the energy stores that you have and i kind of feel like this week it's going to be a process of you releasing something on the internal level that really forces you to dig into the depths of your strength on a physical level and release what might be pent up there so this could be a physical releasing of any and all trauma in your physical body there's a, my, a myriad of ways that this could show up. This could be, you know, spontaneous belching. Uh, it could be spontaneous laughing. It could be bouts of crying. It could be alternate in between the two. It could be a dodgy tummy. I'll give you an example. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much graphic detail, but I remember once I had um, a tapping session and it was really intense. It was like a 35 minute just constantly of tapping over different, different um, points of my face. And I tell you what, for three days after I was just going through this absolute purging like it was not pretty I won't mention anymore but this could very well be a week where you're having something like this if it feels serious obviously please get to a doctor um, but your physical body is being highlighted this week so it will be interesting to see how this manifests on the material plane for a lot of you with that said if you are a continued subby and you're not totally grossed out at this point <laughs> you know Rafi loves you and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to love uh, like share and if you should so choose hit the subscribe button for your actions and options this week you've got the nine of swords so this could literally be a release of worry but with that nine of swords you are being invited to get out of your head and into your body so one of the ways that i often say to people if i'm doing personal readings for them and i see that they're very much in here i say to them go out for a run whack the music on and start dancing vigorously go to a spin class do something this is not about yoga it's not about tai chi those things are they're amazing for what they do um, but this isn't that. You need something that's going to connect you deeply to your physical body this week. Something that is going to make you sweat. Something that's going to make your heart pound. Again, providing you're already healthy enough to do such activities. But you have to do things this week that will get that sort of pent up energy out. And it will help you really connect with your physical body. <clears throat> For your communications and conversations, you've got the Four of Pentacles, and you've got this with the Strength card. Um, this, I gotta be honest with you, uh, Scorpio, stubborn, <laughs> never. It looks like you're about to dig into an idea or a concept of some sort. I'm not saying I disagree with you. What I am saying is this week, you you might notice 
where your thought process is and your personal belief structure is too rigid. And this might come up through a conversation. So somebody could highlight something to you that really kind of gets you to see like, oh my gosh, like this is really deeply ingrained in me. And it might not be something that you even actually agree with anymore. It might just be an echo or a, a, a hold back, um, not a hold back or like a, uh, uh, just like a deeply ingrained thought process or even a thought form that you've created from that uh, specific pathway. Uh, really, that for me, like this is a time where like some of this physical stuff that you're purging or releasing this week could very well be to do with things that you've held on to for so long that now you release them. It's like, you know, it's release on all kinds of levels. So for those of you that are studying, that Four of Pentacles, because it is with the Strength card, this might be where you are having to hold to an idea. So this is like that whole thing where, you know, um, psychology says if you've got 10 people in a, in, in a line and one of them steps out of line because of something that they believe, like in their absolute heart of hearts and they're willing to go against the other nine for it, the other nine will fall in place. Um, this may be where something that you've picked for an assignment, maybe a, 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 an understanding that you've come to a about a specific subject. It's like you're having to hold to that and not allow anything or anyone to sway you from it. That doesn't mean you shouldn't be open to advice. For those of you that are working for somebody else, this may be a time where your integrity slash heart uh, pits you against the institution that you are a part of. Um, <sighs> You're gonna have to, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one to navigate. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, people that work for themselves, this is a really good week actually for you to, to think about whether the concepts and the services that your business is offering um, whether you actually, you want to do these anymore. Like there's been so, oh my gosh, over the seven years, well, almost seven years that Radiant Reality has been alive, I have retired so many things. I've tried so many things, some that didn't work, some that I didn't like doing, uh, and it's all a part of the process. This is a week to really check in with your plans and what is happening now to see what is maybe superfluous and might need to be removed. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, um, honestly, this would be a really great week to work on your physical self. Um, even though that's in the communications and conversation sector, it might be that this, for all of you as well, as, uh, for those of you that are retired, uh, for sure, but for all of you, this might be a week where recurring conversations or stuck patterns of conversations come up. And you might notice it this week and be like, right, I gotta get off this mouse wheel. For your love and relations, you have the star card. This is beautiful. So you are getting a deep glimpse into your partnerships and relationships this week. Um, and you've got this with the nine of swords. So for some of you, for those of you that are single and worried that you'll be single forever, that is not the case, um, unless you want it to be. Um, and with that strength card, I almost feel like this is, some of you are having to make yourself vulnerable this week. Like, and not like, oh, I have to be frail and helpless to get a partner. It's more a case of, you know what, I think I'm ready to admit that I am actually ready for a partner. And that in itself makes us vulnerable. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, um, this could literally be you guys setting something up for the future that is requiring a lot of planning this week. So you're having to really lay down some very concrete structures in order to build the dream on. For your money and materials, you've got the tower card. Okay, so we've got to call a spade a spade. Um, your finances this week look like they are taking a little bit of a hit. Um, now, there's one way that this could show up. This could be something that you've wanted maybe some time ago but weren't able to purchase or buy suddenly becomes available again. And it's like, oh, I don't really, you know, I've got it in my savings, but now is not really the ideal time. Um, this might be one of those times where a, a need to make a spontaneous purchase comes up. Uh, it looks like a lot of you will be having deep conversations with yourself about whether this is the right or you know, the right thing to do or buy or whatever. Um, I can't really tell you either which way. Uh, for some of you as well, this may be a spontaneous event that comes up uh, that you're needing to shell out for. 
uh, with this underneath that four of pentacles, any and all um, conversations with financial institutions may have some um, holdbacks, some caveats. This could also be for some of you, maybe you've made an application, let's say, and you were accepted for credit to buy a new car, and then all of a sudden at the last minute they decline. This could be something like that, and I really hope that I'm wrong on that front. Uh, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is your nervous system, right? So your physical body has already been highlighted. Your nervous system is coming up because of the tower card, and that nine of swords, is a, it can be a lot of anxiety or you know being very much in here so you've got to look after yourself this week again I'm not a doctor I can't give you medical advice but you know anything that's gonna really attack uh, uh, yeah anything that's gonna really attach the mind to the body this week I think is something that you should really look into um, when it comes to your home and environment the tower card with the four of pentacles this could be either a spontaneous if, uh, expense that comes up in the home <clears throat> But it can also be uh, problems or challenges with the structure of the home. Again, I really hope I'm wrong on this front, but um, we shall see. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.